Imagine it's 2050. Your car has driven itself for years. Your phone now floats in the air as you text using only your mind. The imaginations are endless. After all, with the immense growth in technological advancement, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. Anything is possible these days. The vision of the future for workers ranges from a pessimistic view of robots taking out jobs to an idealistic view of artificial intelligence eliminating repetitive tasks. This will free humans to think, create, and act. But what do the experts think it will be like? What will be the position of robots by that time? Stay with us until the end to see your future. And if you're new, hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date in the future. Let's get started. The year 2050 is almost 30 years away, and everyone on the planet is curious about our future. But let me tell you that no human being can predict our future perfectly. Although no one knows what will happen in the next few seconds, if the world is safe until 2050, then scientists' calculations or predictions may be correct. First, robots have rights too in 2050. It is predicted by Ian Pearson. Ian has been a full-time futurologist for over 25 years. Tracking and predicting developments across a wide range of technology, business, society, politics, and the environment. By 2050, robots will be commonplace in our homes with Android rights such as being treated with dignity. As artificial intelligence advances, the machines may have to be paid for their services, according to Dr. Ian Pearson. Well, the robots are taking over, huh? In just over 30 years, he predicts most Brits will have robots cooking and cleaning for them with billions of the machines worldwide. What do you think robot cooking tastes like? But anyway, he claims that rights will be established. Dr. Pearson believes that as AI advances, robots will become commonplace in our homes and central heating will become obsolete. However, Dr. Pearson predicts that by 2050, there will be 9.4 billion robots on the planet, which is 5% more than the human population. The latter is currently 7.6 billion, but by 2050 is expected to be around 9 billion. Wow, that's a lot of robots. So if you don't have a girlfriend till 2050, there will be a robot for you. Then comes this, we will have personal assistance for life. It is predicted by Alexei Malinov. He is a malware expert, anti-malware technologies development Kaspersky. AI is virtually influencing every industrial department and human being. It is the driving force behind leading and emerging technologies such as robotics, IoT, and big data, and it will be the technological innovator in a predictable future. AI cleverly mimics human behavior and standard reaction patterns to compete with them in almost every industry field. AI assists in programming machine technologies to perform a wide range of everyday tasks with high precision and is already present in our digital lives, from smart devices to chatbots. Thanks to computers that can store enough data about human activities, purchases, and movements to build potentially powerful AI. After all, researchers use this data to train machines for predicting, learning, and forecasting. By 2025, they've mastered the art of recognizing and transcribing speech. Complete with punctuation marks, they could understand the meaning of a text and recite it with such realism that it was almost indistinguishable from a human. This resulted in the automation of half of all office tasks. Personal assistants began to take minutes, write post-meeting reports, summarize lengthy documents, and consciously digest and recapitulate message contents. They will also plan your day, schedule meetings, and even order lunch for you. Another prediction is people reincarnate through AI. I know, it sounds terrifying. And while most religious people are likely to oppose it, Kurzweil believes that artificial intelligence will allow us to bring back our relatives. He believes that by 2050, we will be able to implant nanobots into people's brains to retrieve memories of loved ones. When combined with DNA from the deceased, it will be possible to create a convincing virtual version of someone who has died. If you're interested, there's a movie about it called The Discovery. Next, a flexible workforce. Predicted by Jacob Morgan, is a best-selling author, speaker, futurist, and founder of futureofworkuniversity.com. Artificial intelligence and smart assistants will be commonplace in the workplace by 2050, while the use of augmented and virtual reality will continue to grow. Everything will be smart, that is connected and data-driven. The vast majority of us will continue to work as we do now, but the jobs available have yet to be invented. Emotional intelligence and human skills such as perpetual learning, as well as fluency with the latest technologies will be essential for leaders to have. And what about working hours? It depends if you're a knowledge worker or working in industries like retail. Flexible work arrangements are already being implemented at organizations around the world. The advantages are far ranging from improving employee satisfaction, productivity, and tenure, to being able to attract and retain top talent. For sure, work will become more fun and those repetitive actions, activities in our day-to-day -day life will be done by robots and artificial intelligence. It's difficult to predict where technology will go in the future, but by looking at where we are now, we can speculate about where we might be in the next 20 years. 
Until recently, much of the technology we use today belonged to science fiction movies. Star Trek communicators evolved into cell phones and replicators evolved into 3D printers. It will be exciting to see where our imagination can take us over the next two decades. Scientists say we will have power in our hands. Now what does that mean? Predicted by Mersey Shelley is the pseudonym of Alexei Andreev, writer and futurologist who works for Kaspersky. Previously, palms and fingers were scanned for identification. Hands implanted with sensors are now scanners in their own right. These implants are available in a variety of models, the most common of which is a simple scanner for daily use. It can read various tags and product codes, as well as exchange digital business cards via the handshake ritual. You can use face recognition to identify a stranger, but this is considered impolite. Additionally, many people use protection to avoid recognition. Hats with special veils are popular. Second, sophisticated scanners are available for technicians and other professionals. A doctor's hand, for example, contains a variety of diagnostic medical sensors, including a portable endoscope with a direct video stream to a computer. You won't believe, but flying cars will be in trend by 2050. There is also the possibility of flying cars appearing in 2050. The cars would not require an air surface to land. All flying vehicles would be computer controlled, and if an accident occurs, the computer system will control the vehicle before it collides. Dubai is researching such vehicles. There is also a chance that self-driving cars will be available by 2050. Many companies are working on developing self-driving cars. In general, these vehicles will rely on road sensors. As a result, the risk of an accident will be greatly reduced. Many developed countries currently operate self-driving metro trains. As a result, in the future, self-driving cars may find home in some developed areas and on developed roads. Such technology will be available in 2050, eliminating the need for fuel to travel thousands of kilometres. At that point, all vehicles will be powered by magnetic waves. Your journey will be inexpensive and convenient as a result of this. The best part of this is that it will not pollute the environment. At the time, vacation destinations will be the Moon and Mars, rather than America and Singapore. By that time, such fuel will be available, making it possible to travel to other planets with less fuel. Along with this, planets and satellites such as the Moon and Mars will be built with numerous facilities, as well as trees and plants. NASA and many space agencies are working on this. Ocean thermal energy can take us 100% renewable energy. Ocean thermal energy is a largely untapped resource that has the potential to be one of the world's largest renewable energy sources. For example, Blue Rise is currently working on an energy breakthrough by generating utility-scale electricity via ocean thermal energy conversion. It will be able to compete with fossil fuel generation as well as other renewables that require storage and grid balancing. It will play an important role in the future energy mix because it is one of the few constant energy sources that is available day and night or year. Meanwhile, many agencies are attempting to contact aliens. It is predicted that we will be able to find aliens in their planets by 2050. And even if a war-like situation arises in the future and a world war-like situation is created, the world will not end if the data is to be believed. Because before any major war, already powerful people in many countries will protect themselves and these survivors can keep humanity alive. Well, that's it for today. What do you think? Will YouTube or TikTok exist in 2050 or will it be replaced? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe.